Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mark McKenna. I'm the author of Moment of Truth, History in Australia's Future, QE69. Um, I guess the first question I wanted to answer was, well, why did I write this essay in the first place? Well, there's two, two main reasons. The first reason was because I was dismayed, like many Australians, at the Turnbull government's rejection of the Uluru Statement and also dismayed at the way that it happened. I mean, there was no uh, prime ministerial press conference. It was just a press release uh, that was put out and all of a sudden months of negotiation had come to naught. So first thing I wanted to address was the rejection of the Uluru Statement and also something that was central to the Referendum Council's report, um, which was and to the Uluru Statement, which was the call for a Makarata or a truth-telling commission. And that was a plea, really, for all Australians to listen to Indigenous voices, a request for us to listen to Aboriginal people tell their stories of their experience of the history of this country since Europeans arrived in 1788. So those two things, the advisory body, its rejection, and the call for a Makarata or truth-telling commission, which was largely ignored, uh, even when uh, the Referendum Council's report came out, this essay is an attempt to put these things back on the table, to put them back into the centre of our national discussion, where they belong, uh, I think these issues have struggled for traction. They come into the limelight at certain times and then it's very hard to get them there day after day. So the essay is an attempt to explain why these issues, an Indigenous advisory body, constitutional recognition, a truth-telling commission, are central to the future of our Commonwealth and central to our national identity. It's also uh, a call for Australian governments and Australians generally to try harder to negotiate with our Indigenous Australians as equals, to truly listen to Indigenous Australians, to place them at the negotiating table as equals, not to pass legislation that does things to them, not to govern them, but to actually include them in the decisions that matter about their lives. If you'd like to know more about Kernel, about the story of Cook's commemoration, both at Kernel and at um, Cooktown, if you'd like to know more about the details of the government's response to the Uluru, um, statement and the Referendum Council's report, then I'd urge you to read the essay and um, to, uh, to let me know your response and your feedback. Uh, and thanks for listening and thanks for reading.